one of the other uh, only other things I heard people saying about it, which I haven't played it, so I don't really know myself, but in between missions, you go back to like the mansion and talk mm-hmm. to everybody, and I've heard a lot of that stuff's kind of not great. And another thing that I personally have a bone with is the Midnight Suns. There's some characters in that game that would never be in the Midnight Suns, like Captain yeah. America, Spider Man. That's the biggest. Thing they would I never think. fucking ever oh, be in the Midnight Suns. My God, so. Spider Man. <laughs> Is so overpowered in that. Is game. he? <laughs> That's cool. I like Spider Man. He will kill. Like he'll. Like, the normal routine for Spider Man in that game, I kill four people with him in one shot, and like yeah. it's just stupid. Is the start the, where you create your own mutant or whatever too? Isn't that part of it? Yeah, he's super overpowered though. Do you get to pick from several different things? Or? He can be dark or light themed. He can be a healer. Mm-hmm. Like a okay. destroyer. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a neat game. I'll probably pick it up when it goes on sale sometime. No. Now that the fans have uh, heard your um, recording of it, <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe we can expand our podcast to gaming next. There we you go. Just let me know, but I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, re- I'm ready to quit the gym. I'll throw my gear away. Look, we are gamers from now on. Just warm for this. <laughs> I mean, you are a gamer. Hey, I beat you at the first game I ever beat you. What was that? Wait, hold on. Snap on. Snap, snap on. on. <laughs> snap on? <laughs> what is it? Holy shit. Oh, snap. Marvel snap? <laughs> yeah, that. Marvel snap. <laughs> snap Well, on. you haven't beat me. You're just ahead of me. Yeah. yeah that's that's right. I was going to ask that question. How do you beat somebody at that? You I have play a higher him? level. He's just a higher collection level than me. Well, so that means you spend more paid, money yeah. on it? No, I, you could, I guess, spend money. There's not a huge factor. <laughs> I haven't spent money. any money. I've only bought the season pass. I did buy one season pass, I guess. Yeah, yeah that's right. all I've done. I just both went back on what you said. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I forgot. He reminded me. And that thousand dollar extra thing I bought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's I it. I bought the season pass. And I sold my soul to yeah, the yeah, devil. Exactly, just the yeah. season pass for me. My festo came up there and yeah. said, hey, do you want to sell your soul? Yes. You, you have me as a yes. card. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this show's going. going. Yeah, it's I don't going. know where it's going. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the. Hey. Shit. What? Show. What happened? This is the fan Nothing. show for BJJ Grappling and MMA. And this is Marvel. And Marvel. Um, <laughs> Midnight Suns were not sold on exactly yet. Um, <laughs> You're uh, sold on it. I'm sold on it. It's the, <laughs> Brand it's is the not greatest sold on thing it. that I have ever played. I love it. Looks it looks cool. I feel like Michael called me four times on it. <laughs> Dude, I but I when you get it, I know. You'll you get it. I'm doing the switch. When you get it, you'll get it. it. It'll be, it'll be. Brandon's done with the show it will all together. Be, it He's will like, be, all right, this is our last episode. When you be, get it, you get it. Let's it get will, the shit out of here. It will be everything <laughs> that you want. All right, so let's go on. We got two things. Yes. Okay. This will be actually pretty short, to be honest with you. Um, we have uh, a new segment. Uh, this is a, a as, as you all know, I am the producer on a lot of the script, but Ronnie definitely contributes to the segments because Chad doesn't read. Can you read? He didn't say he couldn't. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Last time you said, I think you said to Brandon, fuck reading. <laughs> well, <laughs> reading's for rich people. <laughs> that's my favorite rhyme from The Longest Yard. Yeah. <laughs> it's for rich I love that one. That's okay, man. Reading's for rich people. <laughs> well, well, teach me to football. I really like that you guys are working on your producing thing. Is that a shot? I don't understand. No, I really do because here's the thing. When I decided to start working on making this reality series, like at first, being who I am, I just dove in. Mm-hmm. I was like, we're going to do this shit. You know, like I watched that Limitless series and I messaged Brandon who ditched me, but that's beside the point. <laughs> uh, oh, that's just a shot for you. I get yeah, it. Okay. Okay. Never mind. So, but, I get it now. So, you know, I started like, I want to do this. This is a cool idea. I want to figure out how to do this. I want to get control and do better in my life, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, so then along this whole journey, like I keep adding shit to it, finding better ways to make it better, right? Like it went from going to be two people. Now it's going to be 10 people. It went from, you know, like having maybe not the greatest camera shit and not all the goodest good equipment but now it's starting to get good equipment mm-hmm. but now like i feel like you guys are doing good with this podcast on the producing thing that like i can kind of feel better about like letting you guys maybe run the momentum of the series and i can just be in the series it's, <laughs> it's- I got two jokes. I got two jokes. I got two jokes in order. (laughs) One, if me and Ronnie produce the show, it's going to 
be like way less serious. So we might want to re we might want to re- mm. have to rebrand that. the show. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Some way less serious. We're gonna put a lot of fart noises in there post exactly. post production. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That shit sounds stupid. <laughs> There's going to be laser guns going <laughs> off. Tim Jones, fart noises. <laughs> That's right. That boing. Every time on, on the pool cough, one, every so time you hit it. the bottom of the pool and you come back up, you're going to hear boing. <laughs> <laughs> boing. But uh, <laughs> no, uh, the, the, the thing I really like about doing this show is that it lets me do some creativity that I've always wanted to do. So actually, I'm very grateful that we get to do this and yeah. we have fun doing it because once it stops being fun, I'm probably done. So there we right. go. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. um, so we have a new segment. It's called Fake Ads. And this is um, this was completely 100% stolen from a podcast me and Ronnie listened to. But All the best things are. I love and, stealing shit. And they are going to and they are gonna be way better at it because they're yeah. you know, trained comedians. But mm-hmm. we're going to put you guys on the hot seat. So we are trying. Uh, we're just not trained. We're comedians. Just not, we're not trained. That's, That's true. We are One trying to get. We went to Juilliard, so. I don't even know what that means. Okay. That's Brendan's Brendan's soul is leaving his body. (laughs) See, you're a comedian. You just didn't know. That that uh, okay was like, okay. You know what's funny about a legit comedian? Because we went for Waylon's birthday to a comedy show. Oh, yeah. And it's almost like when you're just honest, you're funny. You know, like that comedian was like, honest about all the shit that when you're listening to it, you're like, yeah, I do that shit all the time. Mm-hmm. You're just so scared to say it sometimes because he was, like, open about his sex life. He was open about his marriage life. Like, he, you know, like, how he handled COVID, what he liked, what he didn't like, you know, like, all the things that he went through that everyone else has went through the same shit. You know, a lot shit. of that stuff could just be fabricated, too. Like, that's well, I'm sure show. that as it goes on, you <laughs> part add, of being a comedian. Well, but a lot of it is your experiences. Like, like he was talking, I, this is bad. But he was talking about how he first learned how to masturbate. And it was pretty funny because he's like, I thought I was normal. And then I went to the doctor and I found out I wasn't normal, that that wasn't normal. And it was a pretty funny. Hi, son. You love you. <laughs> hey, you right. said, wait, kids watch this? She actually does. She listens to all the shows now on the podcast. Who's the bad parent? I mean, <laughs> I'll be the bad parent. I'm, 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 I, it's definitely me because I take her to like watch John Wick and shit and Deadpool like, when she's like seven. Anyways. So uh, we're doing fake ads. We are trying to get people to buy ads from us. So we're just showing our work. That's all we're doing. That's right. We're going to try to. We're gonna. You're gonna get something, and you're gonna advertise the hell out of it. We'll show you how to have your cat piss all over your face. Exactly. That's exactly right. I mean, Fuji. We just did a great job. Yeah, like a couple episodes ago. A couple episodes ago. You want your son carried out? Yep. And we're continuing it. Yeah, we're continuing. (laughs) Those refs are independent contractors. Just remember that. <laughs> yeah. Independent contractors. They are the failure of societies. All right. So, uh, Ronnie. Ronnie knows the game, so we're going to let Ronnie go first. There's going to be a, a, a funny one, and then there's going to be... Uh, one that's supposed to make you mad. Yeah, one that's going to make you But mad. you still have to promote it, yeah. which is the best part. Okay. Yeah, that's the best I part. don't know what I'm like... Uh, you, oh, yeah, he yeah, doesn't know what I have getting. no idea what I'm going to get, so I thought the surprise of it's going to be the most fun part. So I, I don't know what I'm going to get. You guys don't know what you're going to get. Absolutely. So, so Well, that's always I need 30 seconds to a minute on ads for pulling guard. Okay. Um, oh, so... I mean, if I give it to you two, it wouldn't be funny. Have you ever been in a situation where uh, you don't have control because the person is so much better than you. Well, here at Polling Guard Incorporated, we like to just lay down and take it. That way, we don't have to work so hard for it. Polling Guard Incorporated, we've been around since uh, the Gracies, um, and, uh, and we love it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that was good. <laughs> what the hell? Nice. I, I started to peter we, you off. You should have told us about this so we could have prepared. Better. I, did, I did not no, prepare one. No, yeah, but you so had the idea, kind no, of. No. I, I have the idea of making an ad. Yeah, no. that's what I have. That's what I say. You have he, that same also, idea. So me and Ronnie discussed this. It's we, a good idea. It's cool. We, I like the, it. The, we have decided, and we, we were like, should we tell them so they can prepare? Or should we just make it a surprise? And I mean, you I would struggle. definitely sat in front of the mirror a few times. Would yeah. you? And really? Just, I think so. You no know, it's, kidding. It's tough to Well, like, I feel bad then. I, I should have, we should have let him have some time. We'll, we'll, I just didn't next, expect you to be like, ah, next time I'll let's do, do it. it. We'll do it. Well, next it's time we'll like change It's kind of like the voiceover it. things, you know? Like, yeah. It's so hard to do that shit. We'll, cha- we'll change it up. Next time we'll do one you can prepare for. And one but I like this idea. Yeah. It's wonderful. 
Brand. That, that one I kind of petered out there at the end. <laughs> but Yeah, no promises. But <laughs> You need a 30-second to a one-minute ad for our podcast to advertise out to this company who paid us. Peppermint Schnapps. Is okay. that the alcohol? Mm-hmm. Okay. So All right, so... Here at McGillicuddy's Peppermint Schnapps Company, if you're still in high school and you need to get drunk, <laughs> your greatest bet is to go get some peppermint schnapps. Once you get a little bit older, you can graduate up to Rumpelmins, which will be similar, but will get you way drunker. So, start off as a child with peppermint schnapps. As you grow to an adult, switch to Rumpelmins. That's all, guys. Thanks. Show. Oh, it was just to promote oh. the alcohol. Oh, he killed it! You're just oh. promo- whatever you get. You're promoting that item. So pr- <laughs> picture just it like trying this. To show that we're salesmen. Um, like yeah. So let's that was say awesome. I just didn't know if it was supposed to be promoted. Was it? <laughs> show, like, the uh, uh, so it's like if this we're what we're doing is we're showing that whatever company wants to invest in us, we can tell an ad for you. We will sell our soul. Yeah. Yeah. So he is like 100 percent, but doing it. That was good. It was. Awesome. It was. It was, it was <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> I thought he would make a good car salesman. Phenomenal. Probably would, actually. Him and Tristan, I thought, would make incredible car salesmen. Well, Tristan, you know. Tristan would make a good car Tristan's like, look, I think it depends. I'll bang your mom if you buy this car. (laughs) You might have some some harassment thing. Or it might be, hey, I won't bang your mom. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Go either way. That's that's better. Yeah, that's, that's way better. All right, Chad. Oh, I'll God. fight you for. I'll fight you for. It. Chad, <laughs> yours is fight you for your mom. Oh, and I apologize. Your guys' is also are things that you probably won't know what they are. So we'll get right. to that too. So give me one second. This is the one that you will know. Chad, you need Hard to do a thirty second to a minute ad on karate. <laughs> karate. Like karate. Well, building think it of, up, or could I hate on it? Well, Chad, you make the ad. You're selling an ad. Sell you're selling the ad on the Hay Show because a local karate school paid for some advertising. All right. I mean, lean in, look directly in the camera, exactly. and you sell your heart out, yeah. man. Okay, so are you tired of your son getting bullied? Are you tired of your son being a pussy? Well, today, <laughs> you can change his life. You need to come to us because we're going to give your son not only the confidence, but the ability to kick little Timmy right in the nuts so that you can have the life that you desire. That was good. That was Karate good. Very Incorporated. Good. Karate Incorporated. <laughs> you didn't kick make dick it. and go on in life. You actually took that serious. That was that, good. We did not expect that. So <laughs> that yeah. was good. Now, oh. your next ones are not going to be so great. But, Ronnie... Um, <laughs> Kick him in dick and get on with your life. <laughs> That's your, your your next ad is for man buns. <laughs> What's a man bun? Are you tired of your hair getting in the way while you are uh, drinking your favorite craft beer? <laughs> are you? Is your handle on mustache sometimes the the wax getting into your hair? Well, man buns um, are the way of the future. Get that hair up. Get it out of the way so you can go on with your life. So you can kick someone in the dick and go on with your life. Man buns. You stole my shit. I did, but it was too good not to. (laughs) This is going to be so many reels this week. Oh, Oh my God. Every one of these is is its own reel. Just clip next. Clip next. You got got like two weeks worth of material. This is way better than selling shit. All right. So, uh, Brandon, yours is... This selling shit's been pretty good, Yours is the most difficult. Oh, great. uh, Ronnie, you're the best. Ronnie gave gave me this one, so you just look directly into Ronnie's soul whenever you don't want this one. Uh, it is for the Detroit DD-16. What is that? <laughs> you got to make an ad for it. The Detroit DD-16? Yeah. yeah. Think of it like when I, when we did that, um, make an ad for something you don't know. Think of it like that. Do you want me to give you a second and go to Chad first? Yeah, give me just okay. a second. All right, sounds good. Because that's the way hardest one, I will admit. So the Detroit, Detroit. DD-16. Okay, okay, Chad, yours is for an Asian hot pot. Oh, What? Exactly. Exactly. There Asian hot pot? Yeah. See, I know I, what that is. I got, a, <laughs> what is I got a softball because I, I, I know what a man bun is. So exactly. that was... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got, I got it easy. Pot? You guys got it hard. I just know hot. Ronnie hates man buns, so yeah. that's why I gave him All that. right. An Asian hot pot. Hot right. pot. Hot pot? P-O-T. Hot pot. <laughs> Say All it right. seven more times. It'll make sense hot then. Pot. <laughs> okay. So... 30 seconds in a minute. 
All right. Welcome to the Tokyo Hot Pot Center. We、uh, appreciate you joining us. And if you're tired of your weed just not being hot enough, we have designed a new program with making your weed hotter than it's ever been. You can now get higher because you are in the hot pot center zone for creating the best hot weed that your life has ever desired. Sign me up. Nice. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Shit. Okay. <laughs> not bad. Do you want to know what that really is? I, I, I mean, it's probably some kind of cooking thing. Yeah, it's a soup. Yeah. <laughs> I love it.、Good、you、soup. just throw shit into it. It's like, what do you, what do you call it?、When、I figured it was something like that, but I didn't know how to sell that. Everyone wants to buy weed every, nowadays. Yeah, every <laughs> Asian、fair. kid that has an Asian mom has ate that in a hotel. <laughs> All right. So the、uh, Detroit Double D 16, otherwise known as the Danaher Death Squad 16 year olds of Detroit. <laughs> They're coming up soon. They're、uh, actually hooked up recently with the,、uh, I don't remember his name, but he runs a、uh, self defense program in Detroit. They've recently linked up with him. He's showing them all of his secret techniques. And I'm pretty sure. New Wave is about to move to Triple D over in Detroit, and they're going to start taking over the world. So sign up as soon as possible. Kick him in the dick and take control of your life. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> very good. <laughs> yeah, we did a good job. What the、good、fuck、job. is. It's a, <laughs> it's, it's a semi truck engine. Should have known. Should have known.、Yeah. Damn cock hole covers. We, 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 we legit. We were, struggling、oh. for, we were struggling for years. That was the last one.、So. Oh, man. That was what, good. What time we got, Chad? I don't know.、Uh, 16, 16, 16 minutes. 16 minutes. So this is great because we're actually going to watch this full. And.、Um, What are we watching? Guys, I want to say that you, you took what I, my, my image and you made it perfect. It was exactly what I, I enjoyed it. That was so good. I like doing that, that shit. I was get so, so nervous、good. when I fe- realize that we have to do that. <laughs> and then afterwards, I was so kind of grateful because I, you know, it's like I'm thinking about the series again、yeah. and I got to do that shit. That was what are we here? so good. I mean, so naked we're, man. We're going to go through some of it.、So、I can listen to you talk about、um, Rumple Mints all day long. <laughs> yeah. <That was laughs> I about pissed my pants. That was so funny. <clears throat> All right. So, Chad crapped on my wrestling segment last time and made fun of it the entire time. So, we are doing a watch along. <laughs> Now, the, is this another wrestling match? Yes. And so, the, the real thing of this, though, is, is that、um, this is the first time that I can actually say that you got to do some searching for this. So,、okay. if you want to watch along at home, You cannot just go to YouTube and just click this in. You have to look up Orange Cassidy versus Will Ospreay, and you will find this match. And this was a New Japan Forbidden Door. Now, <clears throat> the key to this is, is that whenever we do these watch alongs to make ch- torture chat here, we usually try, I tried to, I was thinking, hey, you know, I'm going to do wrestling, but I'm going to put grappling in it. So then that maybe he'll appreciate it. What I found out was instead he just shit on it more.、Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm going to make it ridiculous. But I will tell you right now, you will be entertained by this match. So, it, back, Jake, the now, snake. I know I've watched,、uh, Michael has introduced me into Orange Cassidy. And、uh, yet, this is going to be hilarious. So, now the only problem with this is, is that we need to listen to the intro music. So, what、okay. is the rules on this? Nah, if it's copyrighted, I mean, you might get in trouble. Well, not necessarily. We just can't monetize the episode. Right. And I don't even know if it's being monetized, anyways.、So. God dang it. This is But even if it、order. is, we're going to lose out on like eight cents. So But even if it, it、really、is,、matters. it'll just. Is、uh, it worth it? It will. De- it'll mute the sound、mm-hmm. during that part. So I don't even know how this is because it's a real song. So it's like. Is it a popular song? Like, is it. Backstreet Boys or something like that. Backstreet Boys. It's back.、Huh? Oh. Jane, you probably know the song.、Mm, I don't know. I've never heard of that song. You ever seen um, 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 Wet Hot American Summer? Yeah. It's the song from that. I think I'll know when I hear it. Okay. So we're just going to risk it because it's、yeah. worth it to watch、risk、the interest. All right.、Uh, we only, and we only kick have... him in the dick and get on with it. Exactly.、Life. And we only Honestly, have to watch. That's one of the best slogans I've ever heard <laughs> for a business. What? We, just kick him in the dick we, and go on with your life. The, we, I think I said something else though. Like, yeah, it, it, the iteration of it keeps getting better and better each time. But at a certain point, we're going to go to the next one. I think it was kick him in the dick and go on with your life. No, I think it was like, it, it might have been go on with your life. Or, I think it was go on with your life. Maybe it was, but it was, 
Okay, we're so look at, we're, I'm make it a we're even like this is a really sketchy thing that we're watching it on even. So I'm gonna just say we are at the point, and I'm gonna describe it. We are at Jim Ross being introduced to come out on stage to call the match. There's a guy clapping. What's the timestamp? There's no timestamp. That's the problem. Oh. Yeah. So because we're on. Oh negative yeah, there is no six minutes. Negative twenty five, fifty seven, fifty six, fifty five. That's where we're at. Okay. Now we're going to turn this up and risk it because it's worth it. I want to hear this song again. Woo! He's pretty. Freshly, Freshly squeezed. Oh, this is even the song that usually comes out to. Really? I know this song. Orange Cassie. I feel like I'm looking at my spirit animal. Like, he is... And this is completely Japanese, so they even announced it in Japanese. It's not the originally good song, though, so I'm going to turn it down. They, he has a way better song he comes out to. He comes out to, is it Jefferson Starship? Jane? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you ever look it up, but, <laughs> yeah. So Orange Cassidy is an independent wrestler. Uh, he's now in AEW. He's one of the best wrestlers in the world. His gimmick is basically he's a super weirdo that was like an 80s bully. Yeah. And it is like <clears throat> phenomenal to watch him wrestle. It's, he's kind of like if um, Johnny from... Uh, um, Breakfast Club? No, Johnny from um, um, Karate, Karate Kid was oh, just okay. calm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh, uh, this is Will Ospreay. He is a Japanese wrestler, even though you're probably like, well, that's a white guy, so how's he a Japanese wrestler? But he is from uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. He is legitimately one of the best wrestlers in the world. Dude's got some tape on him. Yeah, it's held together. So he is the the champ in New Japan, and this was a this is Amer it, the even crazier is this is an American show. This was in Chicago, and they actually had everything in Japanese as well. You like think this guy could have took Jake the Snake. Oh, Oof. Jake. What? Will, Will Ospreay, man. Jake he is, the Snake? He is legitimately one of the, like, he's an amazing hmm. wrestler. He'll throw a cobra at you. Yeah. Man, that Do you know Jake the Snake so wore six inch lifts in his boots? Really? Yes. That he doesn't was, surprise me. He was paranoid as hell about people being taller than him <laughs> for some reason. He definitely took a cobra in the ring one time and it bit somebody. It was Randy Savage. Yeah. You know why? I don't. Randy Savage um, was known to be very paranoid. So oh, okay. he said, "Do you did you defang the Cobra? Right, and I've he, heard that before. Yeah, okay, oh, that, that's the story. So then uh, Jake the Snake, when he's walking out, grabbed the Cobra, which is, is like not PETA, obviously, and slapped it as hard as he could to piss it off. And then that's why he couldn't get it off of him, because it was so mad. Crazy. All right, so yeah. we're at a timestamp of... 23-00-22-59, and that's where we're at. We're yep. watching Orange Cassidy and Will Ospreay. His hands are in his pockets, and they will not leave his pockets the entire match. Really? 100%. For, for most of the match, yes. What in the world? <laughs> exactly. This is why I'm showing this match. Is this what you're doing to me, Michael? Yes. <laughs> So Will Ospreay, I could do this. Yeah. So Will, I could be a wrestler. So Will Ospreay is legitimately, he had a amazing match with a guy <laughs> named Ricochet. And um, it was it looked like a John Wick movie, how they choreographer um, the choreography of it. And that's kind of what they're doing, but he's doing it in a joking matter because he's Orange Cassidy. I could literally be a wrestler, I think. I can yeah, do flips. I, yeah, why not? <laughs> Oh, he's actually using his hands. I haven't seen that. He uses his hands, but he he gets a lot of spots where he puts his hands in his pockets. I feel like I do this with Lucy all the time. Yeah. Do they kiss after this, or? Well, they're gonna get this. <laughs> this is going exactly how I want it to go. Too. This is awesome. Just where'd he go? Just he disappeared. Oh my god! I'm I just want a man that give will him a hold break, me. guys. He's tired. Uh, <laughs> so a big thing he does is make fun of everybody's like sayings or whatever they're do they do yeah. in the ring.
So he had a big match about a month ago against Shibata, who was the guy we watched last time. And he does, like, all of his stuff, like, funny, obviously. Oh, he took it that time. You know, mess with my stance. <laughs> Don't put Don't mess with my stance. <laughs> that was a really weird cutaway. Yeah, who was that clown? <laughs> <laughs> He's just, like, looking into the lights. Like, Get on my so ring. This is, uh, this Go is put some their, more tape on. This is their show where they basically have AEW compete against New Japan. Okay. So those are the New Japan people. Is this is the old Sami Zayn spot. Ooh. Oh, you didn't way. see me coming this way. This is like how I play with my cat. I like, <laughs> oh, snap. I like I how they game. just kind of gave him a little bit of a push. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit up there. Oh, he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing Star. Well, show's over. Cardiac. Thanks arrest. for watching. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not done with oh. you yet. Since when don't they count them out when they're out of the ring? He's counting. Oh, he's up to four now. <laughs> it, it took him a while. 40 seconds. Oh, he wants everyone to calm Shut down. Shut the up. I'm so, to I'm going to kill this guy in amazing. jeans. In the storyline, the reason for that is is because in Japan, uh, fans are quiet during the matches. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. So, he's Back saying that they're uncultured swine that are cheering during their matches. Ooh. Oh, he freshly squeezed over the top of them. Damn, son. No. Got you good. You know what's more impressive is that Orange Cassidy used to actually wrestle in jeans. What the heck just happened? Like broke actual jeans? Actual jeans. That's insane. Yeah. It's like when John Cena always used to How did shorts. he hurt himself? Are you just doing sit-ups? Yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes in a, mat, in a fight, you just got to sit down and do some sit-ups to just show your dominance. So right. I'm going to do that next time I get in a fight. Next time you and I roll, I'm just going to go off to the corner and I'm going to do some sit-ups. Well, I think you'll that'll tap. be the last time I show up to class. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be just rolling, and I'll be getting ready to pass your guard. I'll just back up and sit down and start doing sit-ups. That could be entertaining. I'm going to touch your leg and get two, then. <laughs> oh, oh, prep. His backbreaker. Yeah. He's, oh, he's in a lot of pain. Oh, he's getting tapped. But no, he gets out. That's not broken enough that I can still. Yeah, sick kip up. <laughs> this is going exactly how I want like, it I don't to understand. Go. I had like, his back damn. broken, but he got up. Let me get my hair out of my face. Oh, yeah. oh. He needs a man bun. This is actually a weird He should have just trained with the DD, the Triple Ds. Yeah, he should have trained yeah. with the Triple Ds in Detroit. The Detroit Danaher Death Squad. What's that guy's name from Detroit? The Detroit Urban I, Survival guy? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I, I knew that. exactly that's who you're talking about, couldn't but I couldn't think, of his, think of his name either. Who, me? They're playing him as a heel. I didn't really expect that. Because American wrestling fans love Japanese wrestling. Get up, boy. Man, just put him out of his misery. He's hurting so bad. Kick him in the dick and go on with your life. Just yeah. little kip up boot. Oh. They're always so surprised. Like, God. Like, they already know who the winner's going to be, right? Of course. Because this is a show. Like, yeah. a play. <laughs> you know, those <laughs> plays. Oh. oh <laughs> just messing with them now. Just bullying them. The bully's getting bullied. It's even better because Will Ospreay in in Japan is always the smallest guy, too. Ooh, do a back chase. Ooh, that could hurt. Look at the submission. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, first package. Yeah. Now we save. No. <laughs> oh. Boom, roasted. Is this a modified twister? Standing That's what twister? It's a standing twister right there. This is called the abdominal stretch, guys. I don't know what you, know, you and Culture <laughs> Swine are talking about. It's going to oh, give a big jerk his ear off. Here. Whoa. See, he just needed to jerk his ear off, and then he won. Yeah, that's it. That's all I needed. That's the last time I won. Oh, grandmother. Oh. Wow. Oh. There we go. Now we're getting back. Now we're getting back to the squeeze. <laughs> oh, Nope. Oh. Whoop. The double Boom. slap. Boom. Oh, my back's still hurt. He played a game of whack a mole. He's there. a lot like me. Win a fight, can play him on my back. Strike one. To do. Okay. Ooh. Devastating. No, sir. No, sir, he says in the corner. That's called a comeback in wrestling. 
the heel puts the cum back down, of course. How Where long do does this go on? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think they buy the pants? Wow. That was actually kind of neat. That they was impressive. <laughs> that they was actually, impressive. They actually, he's actually like one of the biggest athletic freaks in the world, Wall Spray. Yeah, um, that was impressive. Every time I watch this shit, I think about that one guy that came in that wanted to wrestle that, you know, I don't mm-hmm. remember. He had like long side so, or whatever. Uh, Brandon's question was, where do they get their stuff at? And actually, it's a very limited market. There's, I think they said three people who do wrestling gear. Well, let's wow. start a business. Sounds yeah. like there's a market. There's a, yeah, there's a... All of that stuff is handmade. Oh! So, the, like, so those nice. pants, they said, usually cost about five grand. Well, Man. it sounds like we should start selling them for 500. Get <laughs> rich. Cut, cut the market. I can't remember. Break his neck. I can't remember, a big wrestler's boyfriend uh, uh, used to, he used to be one of the biggest designers. I can't think who it was, though. Shoot. It was an Asian guy, though. I remember his name. Is he going to come back? Is he going to, let's see. He's trying. Well, if the guy just started stomping his face right now, he wouldn't come back. Yeah. That's not honorable, though, Chad. Well, who cares New about Japan. honor right now? No, kill the guy. No, New Japan is about honor. What about yeah, a real well, This is show. honorable. Yeah, that's <laughs> honorable. <laughs> this, right here's there. your honor. <laughs> <laughs> take it. Take it. You <laughs> there. So much for honor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's step on the guy's head. and He's a, he's a heel. Chad. Where's the honor Where's here? The, he's a heel. He's oh, got he's powering right up. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's going back super to the thing. Nah. Punch him in the dick. Can, can, can get on with your day. Can you punch him in the dick? Oh, yeah, it happens all the time. It's already happened like two or three times. Oh, kicks, though. Boom. Oh, no, sir. I've had That's enough kiss. of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, in the pockets. It's over now. It's over now. GG. That bro. ref actually looks like he does not really want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, I've had enough of this. There we go. Drop kick. Without the Murphys. Uh, can you guys do something? Uh, can you get your hands out of your pockets, sir, and start fighting? Oh, so oh, get them out. Him. Here comes this big spot. Oh. Stretching. Two legs. He's up. Do a forward flip and land on his head. See, he could have kept his hands in his pocket if he had a man bun. <laughs> True. Oh, I'm gonna do it to you now, little baby ones. Yep, that I know. I do remember that's his thing. He just like barely kicks people, and then they like the announcers go crazy, like, "Oh yeah, my I'm god, he's about you. out!" Oops. And this is the New Japan spot, always. Oh, never mind. Not New Japan spot. New Japan, they can't punch. Oh. So they have to forearm. So they have spots where they always take each other and they just form each other in the faces till someone stops. Swing and a miss. I've done that trying to pull, or trying to do a flying now that's triangle a before. Submission. <laughs> oh, sir, that's a pinning combination. Woo! Guillotine. Nope. Oh, that Damn. was impressive. Did he hurt himself doing it? Or? Uh, he landed on his shoulder, so Orange Cassidy no. took control of that. Yeah, Cassidy turned into <laughs> oh, a stunner. Oh, yeah, eat this. Oh, what? come on. That was three. He hit you know, three times. You know I can name every one of these moves. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. If we he started out. pre-2000, I bet I can name all the moves. That was a Michinoku driver. <laughs> Look at this. Boom. I just don't think you can beat the Stone Cold Steve Austin era. Yeah, it was tough. But that character might be nostalgia. Char- the characters, yes. The wrestling, no. The, this wrestling is way better. I only like like really old wrestling and like the common era. He wrestling. was catching like six packs of beers out of the audience, though. Exactly. So how do you beat no, that? I, yeah. I, if you watch WrestleMania this year, he also did it there. Is he sucking his own ween? No, he's just <laughs> kicking him in the face. Suck your own ween and go on with your life. <laughs> oh, he's he is hurting because he actually had to use his hand to get up on that one. Whoa. <sighs> Karate chop. Get back in there. Kick him in the dick and go on with your life. 
Oh my gosh, she's attacking the ref. Yeah, it's Tyler that? Gordon. <laughs> He's, he's like, man, my everybody. back is just destroyed, but I'm just going to continue moving forward. I only know how to I only know on. how to go forward. He is the Chad Hawkins of wrestling right there. Look at that. Why? Because when he feels Dude. resistance, he pops there. Ugh. Someone just win. <laughs> this is a complete 100% how exactly how I wanted this to go. <laughs> I am so excited. <laughs> Forbidden door. Do you have a door that you want people to stay out of? <laughs> Here at Forbidden Door, no one can go in it. The funniest part about that is that this pay per view is named after, like, it's a joke about WWE that they were going to open the Forbidden Door. Oh. And uh, they named their pay per view after it because they actually did. And uh, started, you know, contracting with Japanese wrestlers. How are they still alive? They're not. Oh. Old Spanish fly. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Super that fly, was Jimmy Snuka. That's the old Rey Mysterio move right there. Yeah, you they know it's like, Who is this guy? This match for hours. No, before they do it, or do they just no, have they to do it live in the ring? I mean, I guess that kind of makes it neat a little bit. Well, you 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 look at this as like, oh, this is silly, but to be honest with you. Um, Some what, of the stuff takes what, a little bit of what definite. Bruce Pritchard says is these people are <laughs> oh, more, Jesus. they're more uh, athletic than actors, and then they also do the same job as an actor. Yeah. yeah. But they do it live. I mean, well, I, like you said, I think the best analogy is that it's like a play. Yeah. Oh man, I mean, like, could you imagine if you really like think about this, like in jujitsu, if you were gonna fake a jujitsu match where it looked really famous or like and you really had to do exciting. a lot of acrobatic, yeah, yeah. Shit. Like, like you. You couldn't just do this off the fly, and this is what they do every night. Some yeah. shit when they like curl and fl- you know, you yeah. make one mistake and land wrong, and you do. Oh, into the camera. Yeah, that's a big thing now. Is, is the, it? The cameras in the in the ring posts, and they use it as spots. In WWE, they have these big posts, so they were getting on top of the post and jumping off and stuff like that. They're doing some neat things with like how they like they put the cameras out now and stuff. I was going to show you a Brock Lesnar match with him and Roman Reigns where Brock Lesnar does something that I've never seen before, but he gets the table and he breaks Roman Reigns through it, which we've all seen a million times, mm-hmm. but then sets the table up on the ends, like the, the yeah. ends that are broken, and he smashes them through, because I don't think he was thinking, and you see Roman's face and he's like, oh my God, that's the most thing, hurtful thing I've ever seen in my life. Got the third one. Oh. Oh. This is the grand finale? Yes. Got him. Nope, two and a half. Whoa. We'll just put it back down now. No, that's not. <laughs> that's not, that's not, that's not allowed. That's not real. Well, that's not real. <laughs> that's not real. You gotta, gotta take time. Work. You gotta take time. Gotta recover. Gotta fix your hair. Ronnie knows. Ronnie knows. Uh, old Orange Cassidy's finisher. The dick twist. Pretty I'm good. so mad. I got to Here it comes. Off. All right. Now I begin my neck <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Now I begin. Hold on. I've and actually you, forgot uh, it. Boing. Watch this. Oh, an RKO. And that's his gimmick. He says his RKOs are better. Than Randy Orton's? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Randy Orton's from St. Louis. He did steal, like, a bunch of Will Ospreay's RKO setups. No shit. Yeah, he did, like... Get up so I can kill you. Yeah, Will Ospreay's like really good. <laughs> this is his finish me. Just kidding. <laughs> Missed me. Oh wait, never mind. Okay. Help me. Ospreay's finisher actually like was rough. Like a little rough. baby. <laughs> My little feet. Oh, what the? Oh. Take this penis. <laughs> oh. No. No, I denied. <laughs> no. Jeez. That's his finisher. He hits you in the back of the head with an elbow? Mm-hmm. Oh. 
not as dramatic as I had hoped. Oh my gosh. He did it to this uh there's a there's this fifteen year old kid in uh the UK that is like a really, really talented wrestler. And he hit that finish on him and it looked like he was dead. All right, that? we are done. Take my butt cheek in your face, shut your mouth, and you're dead. Ronnie, you don't remember his finisher. I don't remember his finisher. Wait, it's, is it over? It's, it's the it's the orange. I only got two. It's the oh, orange. He's still laying there. Why did you get off? He just moved. He uh, just moved a, just enough. Who is that guy? They keep showing. Uh, that's Jay White. It's the most homeless looking wrestler no, it's I've over. ever seen. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's over. He finished him. Oh, okay. Um. No, uh, Orange Cassidy's uh, finisher is the Orange Punch. I forget. It's a it. Superman punch. Oh, gotcha. He actually throws it better than Roman too. The Hawaiian punch. Now, excellent. I'm so happy that Chad just trailed <laughs> off on that. He didn't like it and everything. <laughs> I love it. Because Chad, for making fun of wrestling, next taping, we are having the trial of Chad Hawkins. The what? The trial of Chad Hawkins. What's that mean? Oh, you gotta get kicked that. in the dick and go on with your life. So oh. it's been in the making. That, it's been in the making for two tapings now. Okay. It's already done, but I did not get to make my. Um, I'm gonna go do wrestling with Brandon in our gym. No, I'm gonna make a presentation, and we are going to have the trial of Chad Hawkins. Trial. I could do a hurricane. You're on Ronnie. trial. Yep. Ronnie what, and what trial? Ra- Ronnie and Brandon get to be uh, the get to be the judges on that one. Hell yeah, I'm good at passing judgment. That's exactly. right. You are to judge. Oh, yeah. I feel like you don't judge anything. Oh, yeah, secretly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I didn't think you actually, like, actually crossed the borderline. So of like, actually. Giving a shit. <laughs> <laughs> since Chad, since oh, Chad shits on good. all of the professional wrestling and thinks it's ridiculous. I never shit Chad on Chad Hawkins will be ch- at, at the trial of Chad Hawkins next taping. Be ready to watch that. <laughs> Is there another episode after this? No. Oh, we're done. We're done? Yeah, we're done. Okay. The trial of Chad Hawkins. All, All right. right. Stay tuned for the trial of Chad Hawkins. I just need a filler. So. Right, TBC. Put the cat piss in your face. <laughs> yeah. But not in your mouth. See you guys. <laughs>